I love you, Grandma. Book number 45. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. Bear and Grandma were eating breakfast. Grandma, asked the little bear suddenly, why do I have such a big nose? To help you find food, Grandma told him. But I just looked around and I found these berries, argued Little Bear. Ah, replied Grandma, food isn't always that easy to see. Grandma led Little Bear down to the river. Can you see anything to eat? She asked. Little Bear shook his head. Can you smell anything? Grandma added. Foo! answered Little Bear. Then use your nose to find it, Grandma told him. Little Bear followed his nose to some stones on the riverbank. He turned one over. A fish! he laughed. Yummy! Dinner, smiled Grandma. Good job, Little Bear. I love you, Grandma, Little Bear whispered into her ear. Ah, uh, asked Little Bear suddenly. Why do I have such sharp claws to help you find food? came the reply. But you told me I have my nose for that, said Little Bear, surprised. Ah, said Grandma, sometimes your nose leads you to food, but you still have to work to get it. She took Little Bear to the woods, sniffed the air, she reminded him. Little Bear started to follow his nose. He stopped at a fallen tree. I can smell food. Little Bear said, I can't, I still can't see it, but I know it's here. You'll need to use your claws, Grandma told him. Little Bear dug his sharp claws into the bark. He broke off a small piece. Ants, he laughed. Delicious. Lunch, smiled Grandma. Good work, Little Bear. I love you, Grandma, Little Bear yelled. Grandma, asked Little Bear suddenly, Why do I have such a long tongue? To help you find food, Grandma said at once. But you told me that I have my nose and claws to do that, said Little Bear surprised. Sometimes the best food is hard to reach, Grandma told him. She took Little Bear to a clearing. Smell the air, Grandma said. Little Bear sniffed hard. He lifted his nose. Food, he told Grandma. A huge bee's nest hung from a branch, a branch above him. I know what to do, laughed the little bear. Look at me, he called. He hooked the nest with his sharp claws, lifted it down, and opened it up. Honey, mmm, he smiled. Mmm, supper, said Grandma, but little bear's big claws couldn't reach the food. So what are you going to do now, asked Grandma. Use my long tongue, laughed Little Bear. And that's just what he did. Brilliant, Little Bear, laughed Grandma. How do you know so many things, Grandma, asked Little Bear suddenly. That's easy, Grandma smiled. When I was small, I was curious, just like you. She said, you ask so many questions, 
you'll soon know lots of things too. And she hugged Little Bear tight. <laughs> do you know I love you, Grandma? Asked Little Bear. I do, answered the Grandma. She stroked Little Bear's sticky head. And you know I love you too, she said. I hope you guys enjoyed this book and see you in the next one. Bye!